My 24 female best friend, 23 female, did something horrible at a mutual family friend's wedding and blamed it on my younger sister, 19 female. I am considering cutting ties with her, but I'm having a hard time. Hi Reddit, this is a bit of an unusual situation, but I'll try to explain it as best as I can. The story involves myself, 24 female, my best friend, Caroline, 23 female, my younger sister, Nicola, 19 female, and our mutual friend slash groomsman, Daniel, 28 male. Using real names because I know Caroline doesn't use Reddit. And if anyone who witnessed this happens to see this, I'd love for them to get the actual facts of the story. Mm. Damn! We this shit's going to be spicy! <laughs> it's going to be thrown in the group chat. Oh, man. <laughs> These people are definitely finding out about it. So, over the weekend, a very good family friend of both my family and Caroline's family was getting married. Caroline and I have been best friends for years. We met when we were toddlers. Our moms are best friends. Our sisters are friends, etc., etc. You get the picture. We knew that both of our families would be invited to this wedding, and we were looking forward to it for months. It's important to note that Caroline's family and my family have a ton of mutual friends, and this was going to be a very large wedding. Guest count was in the 500s. Oh, holy shit. My God. <laughs> Everything was going fine and dandy until Caroline got completely wasted. Mm. She kept talking to me about how hot one of the groomsmen, Daniel, was, and how she'd had a crush on him for years, but he showed no interest. This was probably because he was in a serious relationship and had been dating his current girlfriend for six years. The girlfriend decided not to attend this wedding because she didn't know the bride and the groom very well, and because Daniel would be a groomsman, she wouldn't see him very much either. Fast forward a couple of hours and Caroline is hanging all over Daniel. She's constantly asking him to dance with her, get her drinks from the open bar, etc. She's point blank throwing herself at him and Yuck. it was embarrassing and painful to watch. I tried intervening a couple of times to get her off of him, but she snapped at me and at that point I decided that it wasn't my problem. Furthermore, Daniel wasn't completely pushing her away. He looked like he had a few drinks in him as well and seemed somewhat interested in Caroline. I decided that if he didn't care, I certainly wasn't going to. If he wanted to throw his relationship away, it was none of my concern. I tried. I didn't witness this next part, but by the end of the night, Caroline and Daniel were having sex in a different room of the hall. Yes, it escalated quickly. To their misfortune, someone, I'm not sure who, just said it was someone's mom who knew Daniel and his girlfriend but didn't know Caroline, walked in on them and for some reason, Caroline told this woman that she was Nicola, my sister. I don't oh my know, god! I don't know if she was embarrassed or drunk or what, but she purposely <laughs> didn't burn. What the fuck? <laughs> I don't know if she was embarrassed or drunk or what, but she purposely identified herself as Nicola, so Caroline herself would not be in trouble. Word quickly spread that Daniel and Nicola were caught having sex, and Nicola was mortified. People were talking about how disrespectful, home-wrecking, rude, slutty Nicola was. I honestly can't even blame them. Had I not known better, I would be thinking the same things. On top of that, Caroline had gone around actually telling other people that it was Nicola and confirming the rumor she started. The bride and groom were pissed. Everyone was talking badly about my sister and Caroline seemed to not care. In fact, when I confronted her about the situation at the wedding, she straight up denied it. Had Daniel not confirmed that it was Caroline he was hooking up with and not Nicola, I might have believed her. The next day, Caroline texted Nicola a half-hearted apology about the whole thing, saying she was so drunk and didn't know what she was doing. The text included a lot of LOLs and ha-has, so I'm not sure how seriously Caroline no, has taken the bullshit. situation. She doesn't seem to realize how mortified Nicola is. Nicola genuinely thinks that her life is ruined. We live in a very tight-knit community, and a lot of people have heard the false version of what went down. I'm at odds with what to do. Up until this point, Caroline had been a very good friend to both I and Nicola. I'm just not sure if I can even forgive her for this, especially considering her lack of consciousness about how bad the situation really is. Should I dump her, or should I give her another chance? 
Our friendship will be different regardless. My family sees Caroline in a completely different light now. So even if I forgave her, we wouldn't be able to do a lot of the same things we used to. Like hang out at my house, do the things with my family, etc. What should I do, Reddit? Why the fuck would you forgive her? I would not. How could you? immediate cutoff. I don't have to think about it. That's like a fuck you. I just would like to know, how does that go about? Does lady swing open the door and she's like, my name is this. (laughs) Or is this lady like open the door? She's like, who's in here? I can't see my eyes are working. (laughs) Who's over there in the corner banging? And it's like. Yeah, my name's not Caroline. It's, it's what was the other name? Nicola. Nicola. It's Nicola. Oh man, my name's Nicola. Don't forget it. Go tell your grandchildren. <laughs> like, how does that even happen? Where they found out the names? I know that's so true. <laughs> like she would have had to call out. And out of all the names she could have chose, when would I Nicola? know you couldn't have picked someone's name who wasn't sister. there. Best friend's sister. So does that like? Is there like some underlying like jealousy? Th- yeah. Or something? I don't yeah. know. But this person's unhinged. I love love it yeah, that's good okay. there's a couple of edits oh at this point a lot of people know that it was caroline with daniel and not nicola however i'm not sure how many is a lot our family friends know but there were a lot of guests at the wedding who knew caroline's family better than they did mine i'm sure these people still think it was nicola oh my god don't bring it to Reddit. Post that shit on Instagram and Facebook. Poor let, nicola. The, let the family crew know what was yeah. up yeah Another issue is that Nicola is also terrified of the potential ramifications from Daniel's current girlfriend. I have absolutely no updates on the situation with the girlfriend. I don't know her well enough, and I don't know what Daniel has chosen to share with her, if anything at all. Well, I think Daniel would share the truth, because he told her that it wasn't Nicola. It was Caroline. Mm -hmm. So I think if he told her it was Caroline, why would he lie to his girlfriend? Hmm. He's already fucked. (laughs) Because a lot of people are asking me how I could even consider remaining friends with Caroline, prior to this experience, she was honestly a great best friend. Of course, we've had our ups and downs like all friends do, but she has always been a kind and caring person and I really valued our friendship. I've known her my whole life and the evening at the wedding was very uncharacteristic of her, including her coming onto a man who was in a relationship. Throwing away our friendship with someone who you have been close with for 15 plus years is extremely difficult however i am prepared to do this if it's the right thing to do yeah okay yeah sure it is extremely difficult but it is the right thing to do you can't have a relationship with somebody who you can't trust okay there is an update so about a week and a half ago caroline casually called me and asked to sleep over she wanted to attend an event downtown and my place was much closer to that event than hers At this point, it became very clear that Caroline had no idea anybody was upset with her, despite the fact that Nicola and I hadn't spoke with her since the wedding. I told Caroline that I didn't think her sleeping over was a good idea, and when she asked why, I brought up what happened at the wedding. She laughed and said Nicola needed to grow up and get over it, (gasps) and it really seemed like she expected me to agree and laugh along with her. Well, Reddit, I took your advice and I let her have it. I told her how selfish and inconsiderate she was, and if it truly was no big deal, then she should have no problem taking full responsibility for her actions and publicly acknowledging that she was the one who hooked up with Daniel and not Nicola. Mm -hmm. I told her she needed to make things right because Nicola was still mortified over something she didn't do. At the end of the phone call, I gave her an ultimatum. Post an apology to Facebook and spill the beans about what actually happened or our friendship was over. Thanks to the Redditor who suggested this. To my complete and utter surprise, she did it. I thought it would make me feel better, but people were actually commenting on her Facebook status, commending her bravery and the fact that she did the right thing. Oh my god. I was super annoyed because of course she would never have done this had I not forced her to. But at the end of the day, Nicola is happy and her name is in the clear. Oh, and an update on Daniel and his current girlfriend. According to his Instagram, they are happily together. Whether or not she knows about Caroline, I don't know. I don't care. Not my train wreck. Mm. She has to know. It's all over social media. It's all over Reddit. She knows. She knows. She knows. Oh, she knows. She knows. She knows. Oh, she knows. (laughs) Boom, 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 boom. 